All right, we're back. This is what I'm drinking today. Some Narrows Brewing Liberator IPA. Fairly basic on the label, kind of nice. It's just like, from what I'm gathering, just a West Coast IPA. Kind of simple malt bill. Um, 5.7 right there, alcohol. So, perfectly easy drinking. Nice and uh, kind of like a go-to type, type of beer. And that was that. I killed it. <clears throat> I was working on that one before the video started. Going to be using my turn and shave with the uh, V4 tip knot. 28 millimeter. Got that in some distilled water. I'm going to try soaking it again and see what happens. <clears throat> I'm going to be using the Lancaster Bowl. Some soap inside. What soap? I'm going to be using this. CK6 sample right here. Sent to me by the chief, of course. Corey, over at Shaving with Chief. He sent me that sample. Um, enough for two shaves, he said. So I just kind of tried to split it down the middle and smear it around. So I've never used CK6. These are going to be first impressions. All the, all the samples he sent me were from bases that I've never used before. And they're kind of like the latest and greatest out in the market right now. You know what I mean? So CK6, uh, I believe it's a vegan formula. This one right here, uh, I believe this is the Savage Doppelganger one, which I have no idea which label that is, what color. But if my nose is serving me correctly, he didn't write the scent on it, but if my nose is serving me correctly, I think it's the Savage um, dupe, you know? All right, moving on. I'm going to be using my straight today, my vintage Kukri straight with the Osiris Blade Work scales. Beautiful file work that won my heart. <clears throat> going to be using that bad boy. Still going strong. And then we're going to be using a sample of the Gondolier Aftershave Cologne by PAA as well as a little bit of the Zingari Man Rescue Potion sample to uh, to give the post shave qualities a little boost, and uh, that's that. So we might as well get with it. I'm gonna go ahead and get my brush out of here. And wring it dry as dry as I possibly can. Get as much water out of there. And there we go. I smacked all the water out of that, and we'll. We'll get to lathering. So, had a pretty fun day today after a pretty fun day yesterday. My town kind of had like a uh, like a thunderstorm slash the winds kind of picked up a bit, which isn't super common around here. And um, so I had all kinds of branches from my neighbor's trees in my yard. I had branches from my own tree scattered throughout my yard. Luckily, you know, you know, our cars didn't get hit, our house didn't get hit, but just a, what a mess, man. And then, uh, I'm cleaning up my backyard, looking off my uh, back porch over here, and, um, I look up at my neighbor, kind of like, behind me, and his fucking, like a whole piece of his tree fucking came off, hit the power line, pulled the power line down. I'm shocked I still had power, to be honest. Um, I feel sorry for that guy, man. What a mess. I'm gonna add a little water here. <laughs> Woo. Damn, that was a good one. Alright, excuse me. Got those uh, allergies, man. Got those allergies. So this is uh, kind of like my first water addition being put in here and it looks it looks fairly like it's coming together already I mean I've heard this is a uh, somewhat thirsty soap but I mean honestly it looks kinda like it looks even with that one water addition which I didn't add a lot but it looks like it's like pretty usable right there 
Maybe I'll add a little bit more just to see if it takes it. I have enough for a second shave anyhow. I didn't add a whole bunch of water right there, but we'll just see. We'll see what happens. Kind of get all that stuff back into the middle. It smells pretty good. It's uh, probably, probably a uh, 5 or 6 out of 10, 6 or... Six or seven. It's there. It's nice. All right. It pretty much absorbed that water really well. So this is what we're working with. Looks good to me. Let me kind of situate my my shelf space here. We'll go ahead and run some water on the face, and uh, we'll get into our first impressions of CK6. I said way back on my uh, second chance tag video that I was gonna buy some uh, some CK six or uh, some PAA products, um, and I haven't really gotten around to buying a soap yet. I bought ten aftershave samples so I could kind of uh, experience the scents before I commit to a tub because their soap, their uh, CK six formula isn't exactly cheap. I don't remember the price offhand, but it's not exactly cheap. So I know their cocoa butter one was pretty industry standard price. So that's good. And this just feels great on the face. I decided to uh, to soak it instead of. Uh, just giving it a dunk like a synthetic because Jack and David both kind of told me you know wouldn't recommend wouldn't recommend doing that um, and I think Jack was just trying to throw on the cape for Milton <laughs> which is respectable <laughs> But, um, David made some pretty good points where he was saying, you know, if you're going in with a, uh, with your brush being dry like that and not giving those hairs a chance to soften up by pre-soaking it, he was like, those hairs might be brittle and snap. And he's like, the whole, the whole face feel might change over time if enough of those hairs snap from uh, being brittle because they weren't pre-soaked any for any amount of time. And uh, I thought about that and I was like, you know what? That makes sense to me, you know? A lot of times I don't listen to what people fucking tell me, but if it makes sense, I'll, I'll give it a shot, you know what I mean? All right, here we go. And what am I doing? With the grain first. I will say, PAA lathered up uh, pretty damn easily. Feels nice on the face. It has a nice, um, nice low structure from what I'm gathering here. Or at least from from my results, nice low structure, but it has some good density to it. And like I said, I pretty much correlate that density with um, with a uh, cushion. There we go. And so that nice that nice weight and density to the soap gives it a nice uh nice cushion. So I like that. I do feel like it's pretty damn slick. Maybe not the slickest I've ever tried, but definitely definitely slick enough to get a good shave. All right, 
Let me kind of wipe off, switch grips here a little bit. So far, so good. The stuff, uh, the the scent is definitely there. Uh, I like that too. Sauvage isn't uh, necessarily my favorite scent, but it's enjoyable. You know, obviously it's very, very popular. Uh, I don't even own it, but it's very, very popular. I think I don't own it because it's so popular. I'm one of those guys. I didn't do a shave yesterday. I thought about it, but I was a little bit busy just doing stuff around the house. And then, then we uh, went to hang out with my wife's friends. So didn't do a video yesterday, but that's okay. I think we put out enough content to keep everybody busy. Um, it's kind of nice recently. You know, over the years in the, the wet shaving community, I've received a bunch of stuff um, through trades or just, you know, kind of piffs and gifts from just real generous people in the community. And um, recently I've kind of been on a spree of giving back to those people and uh man that feels good <laughs> it feels nice you know what i mean it feels nice to be able to uh, give back and i've been i don't know why it all just kind of culminated at one time but i've just been giving back you know to the people who have given to me and that's just it's a great feeling some of them you know help me when I was very early on in my journey, they were just like, here, you know, have this. Have a razor. Have a soap. Um, you haven't tried this company? Send me your address. I'll send it. I'll send a sample on, on the way. And, you know, I was like, here, you know, let me pay you for it. Nope. Nope. Can't. Won't accept it. This is for free. You know, this is a gift. And, uh, that's what makes our community fucking awesome, you know what I mean? Couldn't pay them even though I wanted to. Um, and this was multiple people, you know, not just an individual. And so, <clears throat> just recently, I have been able to get a few back for what they've given to me. And, uh, it just feels great, you know what I mean? Because I don't do particularly well with just getting things. I kind of keep a list, you know what I mean? I, I take names of who's given what. And, uh, <laughs> and it's almost like I put myself in debt to those people, even though they might, you know, they might have totally forgotten about the transaction between us. <clears throat> I put myself in debt, you know what I mean? Alright. Let's get this second pass going here. Can't remember. <laughs> Can't remember what I'm doing here. I 
don't remember which way I went on that first pass. I might be doing, <laughs> might be doing it the same twice. Can't remember. <clears throat> Doesn't really matter though up here. And I'm gonna shape again tomorrow anyhow, so it doesn't matter. But uh, I also wanted to uh, give a shout out to uh, Chris over at IMCDB because he made this uh, cool little spotlight video where he basically just he said these are 10 new wet shaving YouTubers that he watches and he enjoys and um, he put me on that list so I thought that was pretty cool of him he's definitely not one of the uh, the biggest YouTubers but he is, you know, quite a, quite a, a force in the wet shaving community, I guess you would say, or an influence, good influence. And, um, you know, he's, his channel is a lot larger than mine. His platform is a lot larger than mine. And, uh. He doesn't have to throw me or any of those guys and girls um, in on that video. And he did anyways, and I thought that was real cool. And he spoke highly of everybody. And um, he gave, you know, like a brief synopsis of what their channel's about. And um, I just thought that was real cool. Real cool. <clears throat> All right, I think that will just about do it. Um, soap had great original slickness, pretty decent. Um, residual slickness. Did I say residual twice? It had great original slickness. Pretty decent residual slickness. Now that might be on me. Um, I do think I could have added a, a bit more water. But where it was at was definitely, uh, was definitely shavable. Luckily, I have another sample, so... I have, you know, enough for another shave, so I could definitely give it a shot with uh, a little bit more hydration. But that one was pretty great, pretty good. Um, definitely ample cushion in density. It was nice and uh, nice and dense, providing a good layer of protection, and uh, definitely slick enough to get a good shave. Um, which I kind of had no doubt it would. People love this uh, CK6 formula, so very nice. Let's get that off the face. We had a drama-free shave there. Pretty excited. My double duck is on its way, <clears throat> which is just fantastic. I saw some of the pictures that uh, Frank sent me of my double duck after he kind of cleaned it and tightened up the pins and gave it a nice home it looks good guys it looks good I'm happy to have a double duck in my collection so uh, PAA CK6 definitely thumbs up from me um, which pretty much leaves me with no excuse now <laughs> to not buy. I said I would. You know, I'm a man of my word. I said I would give it a shot. 
Luckily, I was able to try before I buy, but um, I got 10 cents that I uh, that I bought little samples, which I think is a fantastic deal. Those those samples, because you could just buy a whole gang of them. Um, try before you buy, or you could buy the sample for a dollar. You could probably get you know two good uses out of it. You know, two uses of the aftershave sample for a dollar. That's pretty damn good deal. If you buy a whole gang of them, you really get to sort your way through uh, through their offerings, and uh, you know, before you invest thirty dollars into a full tub, you can go you know go in a little bit more informed on the scent you're picking. So here's that vial of gondolier. I think what I'm going to do here is try to open it, set it to the side. These things stand pretty well, which I'm happy about. I'll take the cap off and just set it to the side here. Stand it up on end. And then I'll get the rescue potion. There we go. And we'll put a couple drops of the rescue potion. Three drops. And then we'll add to to that with some of the aftershave. Come on. And somehow I always get it right about 50%, which is a feat all in itself. All right, and gondolier isn't necessarily a matching fragrance at all to that soap, but it is really nice it smells somewhat familiar I don't know it smells somewhat familiar but it's it's a real enjoyable scent I wonder where I've smelled this before it smells like something my grandma would have not in a bad way my grandma has good taste <laughs> but uh yeah, real nice. I like that. All right, so I guess I'll just do a little recap. Close everything off and recap. PAA, Gondolier, aftershave sample. Real good smelling stuff. Um, Zingari Man, rescue potion. That's basically all skin food, and uh, it really boosts the post-shave experience. Real good stuff. Kind of in the same vein as Good Oleo, which I love that, so. I use my vintage Kukri with the Osiris Blade Works scales. And that beautiful file work. I used my Lancaster Razor Works bowl. I love this thing, staple in my den. And then I use this awesome turn and shave brush with the gold flake under emerald. And the V4 tip knot. <clears throat> which... It actually worked out pretty well this time. I don't know if it was just the soap or, you know, maybe I got more familiar with it or maybe I just got lucky, but it actually worked out pretty well this time. So soaking it before I shave with it worked out and uh, I appreciate Jack and David for pointing me in the right direction on that. So I think that's it, guys. Oh, last but not least, I guess I should say CK6. Thank you, Corey. Shaving with Chief, guys. Check him out. And check out the virtual groom room and check out So Sharp David. All good guys and way better channels than mine. Um, so if you watch me, go check those guys guys out. I appreciate that. Thank you, CDB, Chris, for uh, shouting me out on your channel. I thought that was real cool. Uh, and I've got about 20 subscribers out of it, which is uh, pretty badass. So thank you. And that's all for me. And have a good have a good one, guys. I'll catch you on the, the next one probably tomorrow, which I have no idea what I'll be using, but we'll find out. Cheers.